Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. I do low income cash stuffing videos for my bills, expenses, sinking funds, and saving challenges. And for today's video, we will be cash stuffing our bills and expenses for February 5th to the 18th, as well as we will be cash stuffing some in and out gift cards my kids got at school for Cover to Cover Club Achievement Award for in and out So this is for reading a certain amount of books. They got gift cards. So they were going to put them in their envelope. But since it's for food, we decided we're going to put them in the eating out. As well as a coupon for Pizza Hut. And I also have coupons for restaurants that I received on the mail. So we will be doing that. But before we continue, I want to share with you some happy mail. So I received happy mail from Sai at Cash and Spanglish and it's right here. So it says, Hey Vane, gracias por tu amistad. Que tengas un día de San Valentín lleno de mucho amor y cariño. Abrazos desde Puerto Rico, Sai. Reto es por 20 a 30 dólares. Which in English means this savings challenge is from 20 to 30 dollars. And look how beautiful it is. So it says, Happy Valentine's Day and... If you have been following Xai, you know that she loves sunflowers. So that's why she added that to her beautiful scratch off. So thank you so much, amiga, for thinking of me. Yo también te aprecio mucho. Y me da mucho gusto ver cómo está creciendo tu canal. Y espero que todo esté mejorando día a día para ti y tu familia en Puerto Rico en tu nuevo lugar. Estamos listas para seguirte apoyando cuando estés lista para volver a poner videos. Gracias nuevamente. So I'm not sure how the weather is with, over there with you guys, but as you can see, I'm wearing a, a sweater all these past videos. It's because the weather's been crazy. Morning and night, it's really cold, and during the day, it's warm. So we're trying to stay, trying to stay healthy, not get sick, have taken multivitamins. But yes, it's crazy. So before we get cash stuffing, I want to share with you guys where I do my budget breakdown. So this is a parent planner that I have, and every month. Let me show you. So it has a little tab and it has an empty calendar where you write your days, your dates, your bills, anything you want to write. And then it has a monthly budget. So for the month of February, which we're cash stuffing, I did it here. So it starts off with a nice quote on the top. So it says it's a parent planner. So it says, don't worry that children never listen to you. Worry that they are always watching you. Robert Fulham and this is so true we could tell children don't do this don't do that or this is wrong this is right which we should however they learn by what they see so we need to watch what we do what we say because when we tell them don't do this they're gonna say well mommy daddy I saw you guys doing this or saying this so it's important you know to watch what we do and say <laughs> okay so here for February we have so we have our gas bill on the second. So we're going to put gas bill. We have our electricity on the seventh, which is what we will be cash stuffing today. So we have electricity. Then over here on the 14th, we have dish cable. We have Best Buy credit card, which that one has no interest until December of this year. And then we have our car insurance and cell phone. And cell phone. So we're going to put them at the end of the month because this month has only 28 days. So that means for the pay period of the 5th to the 24th, we will be cashed off in our electricity bill, our dish cable, and our Best Buy credit card. So I did set goals for this month. So right here where it says notes. So uh, my I have four goals for this month of February. So my first goal is to one, reach 700 subscribers. And thank you so much for everybody that has been sharing out my videos and supporting and everybody that has subscribed. Two, I want to continue meal planning, eating at home, and shopping weekly specials to save in grocery. So one, by meal planning and eating at home, I'll save in my budget. And also, I would eat healthier, so it will help my personal goal and my budgeting goal. Number three, 
watch more playlists to help friends gain watch hours. So I will continue playing watch lists. If you need help with watch hours, let me know. I'm going to be honest. Um, I cannot be commenting on them and watching them all day. So what I do is at night, in the evenings when I get home, I leave the videos playing and I leave them playing throughout the whole night. So that way you can get more watch hours. But I'll just leave you one comment and one video or two. I'm going to start your playlist so you can know. But I will leave it playing all night until it stops, until the next day. And I would appreciate if you can do the same for my channel, if you can. Like I said, you don't have to comment on all of them. All you have to say, I'm watching your playlist and leave it playing like me all night. And my fourth goal would be have more time for myself or reflections and stress-free times. Um, like I said um, at the beginning of my first cash stuffing for this year, uh, my goal is to do more self-care in all aspects. Not only like self-care, doing my nails or hair, but... Um, spiritually and in my mind i want to have more time for myself for reflections to see what things i doing good bad where i can improve and as well stress-free times because with three kids you know <laughs> sometimes it gets crazy and we just need some time off for ourselves as moms we do so much at home outside of home so i feel i really really need that so i already talked to my husband and uh we will be trying to go twice a month or three times on the weekends i would choose either saturday or sunday and i will have a whole day for myself to do whatever i want go to the park walk in the mall anything just me time so that's that okay so let's go into my monthly project breakdown so for my project breakdown i have it here so here we have February the 5th to the 18th. I have my bills, electricity, Best Buy credit card, and Dish Networks. We have 70 for electricity bill. Um, that's that's okay. That's an okay amount. Um, we have Best Buy card and Dish Network. So that came out to a total of 146. So this amount was already taken from the 800. Okay. So what we will be putting into our cash envelopes will be our expenses. So we have our gas, grocery, eating out, spending for myself, Angel in Heaven, which is my baby girl in the cemetery that we take our flowers, and miscellaneous, any, we could say, um, item we didn't budget for, unexpected, extra money, whatever we want to call it, that'll be an extra 20. Um... So this will be in this video's my expenses. Next video, I will do my sinking funds, which I will only be doing a total of six categories and then my saving challenges. So I just wanted to share with you the budget breakdown that I do start with my bills as always and my expenses. And then from there, depending on how much money I have left, I decide which sinking funds are the ones with the highest priority for me at that time. And for this time, like I said, I am only going to be able to do six for next video. So let's get started with what you guys want to see, which is the cash stuffing. So let's pull out here uh, the mold term. So I do have, I think, a dollar or two. Yeah, I only have two dollars left from this week. So I will put this to the side, okay? And then... We're going to start with the first category. I placed a little sticker here. And this is for car gas. So for car gas, we will be adding $40. Right now, um, I have half tank because my husband uh, just pumped gas two days ago. So most likely, I will put gas until next week. Okay. After gas, we will be doing our grocery. So for grocery, I just added this little sticker and I will be adding more to represent grocery. So for grocery, I will be adding a total of $180. So we have $150, 70 and $80. So that's $180 in cash. Plus, I also have my WIC card, which once again, that's for women's, infants, and children's benefits that we receive here in California. Uh, because I do have a two-year-old, so they help me with milk, bread, eggs, cheese, cereal, juice. And especially with the veggies, it's good because I get, um, I keep forgetting, I always get confused. It's 
26 or $28 monthly, so that helps as well. So once again, it's this plus the WIC benefits for my grocery. Next, we have here eating out. So for eating out, um, I put this cute little stickers from In-N-Out. Um, I still have the Pollo Loco gift card because I haven't used it. I did eat out, but as you can see, I spent all the money and not the card. So I still have that. And for eating out, I will be adding a total of... We will be adding a total of what sixty dollars. So here we have twenty, forty, sixty. And yes, I I stopped the video to add my little decorations because I was like, wait, the table looks empty. I need something here. So here we're adding twenty. So I mean, we're adding sixty. Plus we have the uh, for your local gift card as well as I just remembered. I was forgetting. Uh, my kids got three in and out gift cards for reading in, um from reading a certain amount of books from the library. So here it says cover to cover club. So that's why they got this achievement award. So I put this one on the top just so you won't see the number. <laughs> so it says present this card for one free hamburger or cheeseburger with our compliments. Limit one per child per visit. So it'll be one for my daughter, one for my son and the baby. He still doesn't eat a cheeseburger. So so whenever we go, um, it'll be one for my daughter, one for my son. Obviously, baby still doesn't eat a cheeseburger. He does like fries, so I'll order fries on the side and a drink. So that's that. And I also have, I'm also covering this part just because it has my son's name. It says, a free personal pan pizza. Also, it's a reading award for Pizza Hut. So we have plenty for eating out right now. So let's put all this together and we'll put it right here. Okay, so there we go. So that's for eating out. Before I continue, I was about to forget. I also have these coupons for Joshinoya. So these uh, will expire on the 17th. So we're still good. Um, I usually use the one that has... Uh, 1425 to combo bowls, which is this one right here. So I have that coupon, and I also got coupons for Carn Jr. So, and it's a lot, it's right here and also right here. So, those I'm gonna put um on the compartment of my car since they don't fit my wallet. So, we have plenty of stuff gift cards, eating out coupons for eating out right now. So, let's see how we do for this pay period. Next, we have this little pictures I added here. This is for my spending. So for spending, I will be adding a total of $30. So that's 10, 20, 30. The spending would be for anything we want to buy with the kids. Um, a drink, an ice cream, Starbucks, anything we want to have. Uh, because before, I would always get out money from my grocery envelope. Um, when I would buy ice cream or other stuff, so we'll use our spending for that. And if we do have extra, we'll always roll it over or take it out and use it for something else. Okay, so that's that for this one. Myself. So for myself, I am doing $10. Um, before, um, I was thinking of just doing a spending envelope for all for me and the kids but I was like wait as I mentioned before <laughs> I usually spend on them and not on me so I was like if I have one envelope I know I'm not going to use it on myself so might as well have two envelopes if if I don't use it then I'll roll it over into my sinking fund that I created also for myself okay so after this one we're going to do angel in heaven which is my baby girl in heaven we take her flowers to the cemetery one time my husband puts flowers and the other time I put flowers. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten because they sell this beautiful big arrangements this size with about 12, 12 flowers for ten dollars. So that's why I'm adding ten dollars here. Um for Angel and Heaven. I forgot to bring the envelope here, so I'm gonna just put the money here. Because the, my baby is playing right now. And if I go and get the envelope, he's gonna see me, he's gonna wanna come over here. And, you know, he's going to be loud and screaming, so 
I'll just put it there. So lastly, to end this video, I do have miscellaneous. And now I was thinking when I was doing the Angel in Heaven, where were those 20? And I just remembered. So for grocery, I went to the mini market, not to the grocery. And I did spend 20. So I should have only stuffed 160 out of the 80. Okay. So here is a 10. So I'm so glad I caught the mistake. I was wondering when I was cash to find the other one. I was like, wait, I'm out of money and I needed to one more. But yes, um, I didn't go to the grocery. I went to the mini market. Um, so those are the 20 missing for my miscellaneous. So that's all for today's cash stuffing. I thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and for commenting. And once again, to all the new subscribers, thank you so much for joining me and being part of my budgeting journey for 2023. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and an alert so you could get a notification each time I upload. Let's help us reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. That's Thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye-bye.